Hey guys, it's Holly, Alex, and Tessie. <laughs> and today we're going to start our butterfly kit. This is the insect lore um, butterfly garden kit. Alex did one of these in kindergarten where um, basically what you do is you send off the caterpillar, or you send off for the caterpillars, they send you, uh, are th were they live caterpillars? Yes. When you got them? Of and course then, they're alive. <laughs> well, I didn't, no, know, they're dead. I didn't know if it was like <laughs> no, still in yeah. the, I don't know. Um, and then you basically grow butterflies at home and then release them into the wild. So we're gonna open up this kit and show you what comes inside. We got this at Target and it was, no, we got this at Toys R Us and it was $19.99. Okay, so what you get inside the box is your little card that you mail in to get your caterpillars. You have to send in um, $7.95 to cover your shipping and handling. So not only are you paying the $19.99 for the kit, but you have to shell out eight bucks for some caterpillars, but it's worth it. Then you have your directions here. This is, what is this? I think it, I don't know, let's see. Do you like feed the caterpillars with it? I think that's what it is. It's like a little dropper. And then here we have, this is what you put the caterpillars inside. It's kind of like a tent material. And, woo, ready? <laughs> it has a spring inside so it pops open basically what they do is they'll like attach themselves to the top and then they'll grow and change into butterflies so we are going to send off this kit and through the magic of the internet we'll have some caterpillars <laughs> okay so we got our caterpillars I ordered them on Friday night they got here Monday morning that's how fast they come because they're live insects so they come in this little cup. You know what though? They're gonna turn into pretty butterflies. Yeah, they're gonna turn into butterflies. Yeah, it's gonna be yeah. fun. Yeah. It's <laughs> so right now, um, they don't, they're not very active right now, but they'll become more active in a few days. They have everything that they need inside this cup, and they stay in this cup for seven to 10 days until they turn into a chrysalis, and that's when we can transfer them. So they're gonna stay in here for a while. We gotta keep them outside of direct sunlight as well. So in the house, but out of direct sunlight. So what's next step? Um, next step is just to wait for them to turn into a chrysalis. And then it they'll comes come with in. this little chrysalis station. So we fold the chrysalis station and insert the lid with chrysalids attached into the slot. So they'll attach themselves to the lid and they'll turn it. into um, the chrysalids. Okay, so a little update on the caterpillars. In 48 hours, they've grown quite a bit, probably a quarter of an inch longer than they were when we got them. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but they have changed color. They're a light gray color now, where when we first got them, they were pretty black, pretty dark. Um, they've had a lot of movement and they've been moving around in their little cup a lot, which is really cool and fun to watch. Um, and I think part of the reason they may be changing color is because it says in the little guide that they shed their exoskeleton a few times during the process. So I think maybe that's what's happening is they're getting ready to shed their exoskeleton. Okay guys, another update on the caterpillars. It is day six that we've had the caterpillars. And as you can see, they are starting to turn into chrysalids. This one right here is definitely a hardened chrysalid, not complete yet. And then the rest of them are hanging. The one to the right is um, starting to really turn into a chrysalid as well. And just this morning, they were crawling all over the cup and really active. And then we left for a few hours and came back and they had turned themselves or started to turn themselves into chrysalids. So it happens really quickly and it's just really neat to watch them make their transformation. Okay, day seven. Every single one of the caterpillars is now a chrysalis. Um, a couple of them still have little bits sticking out, but for the most part, they're all solid. And now we have to wait about three days to let them really firm up before we relocate them to the net. Okay, so our chrysalises have 
hardened. It's been about three day, three full days since they've formed fully into the chrysalis. So we are going to remove the lid and we're going to transfer them to the chrysalis station. And Alex and oh, it's I, wiggling. they, um, when they sense movement, so anytime I move the cup, their defense mechanism is to shake and that's how they scare off predators to keep them from getting eaten. So yep, yep. they're going to, it's doing it again. They are going to shake a little bit. Um, and then Alex is going to use a toothpick. Oh my goodness, he's really shaking. To remove the strands of, what's it called? Uh, just said like silk or something like that. Silks. Wow, they're really moving. I don't know if you guys can see. <laughs> it's it's okay. going everywhere. Do what you need to do quickly so that we can get them right, into their habitat. Is off. Oh, no, he's not. Okay, move it up a little. We're not professionals. <laughs> well, it's tricky when they're all wiggling. Okay, there we go. <laughs> all right, we're going to remove all this thread. You got it? Oh, it's so <laughs> sticky. They're so pathetic when they wiggle. Oh, I don't want to disturb them. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. So now we're ready to put them into... <laughs> that one's... It looks like it's little tails wiggling. Our little chrysalis station. And then they go into the habitat, the little net habitat. And in seven to ten days, they should turn into butterflies. So we'll get to see them wiggle, open wiggle, up wiggle, wiggle, and wiggle. turn into butterflies. <laughs> there, I want you guys to be able to see all the wiggling that's going on. And it stopped. Okay, so we're going to put them inside of our net habitat. This little guy is going to stay on the paper towel, and we're going to put him inside as well. And he'll kind of figure it out, figure out what to do from there. <laughs> there we go. Okay, guys, you're going to hang out in here for a while. And now we're going to put this guy in. Oh, careful. Come here. Ah. <laughs> you want to show him to the camera how it looks like his tail is wiggling? <laughs> that looks like he's got... It's too small to tell. He sure is moving, though. Okay, we'll see you guys sprout in 7 to 10 days. Okay, guys, day 12. We had... A butterfly emerge when we were gone of course we weren't home when it happened but we have had one of them emerge from its chrysalis so we'll show you a little bit better of a view okay you guys so here is a close-up look at our first butterfly as you can see to the right there is the empty chrysalis um, we kind of think it looks more like a moth <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna change colors and get a little bit brighter maybe but there's our first butterfly Okay, so it's been a couple hours since our butterfly has hatched and we're going to go ahead and feed it. Alex is putting a flower inside the habitat and then sprinkling it with some nectar, which is a cup of water and three, three teaspoons, of sugar. teaspoons of sugar. And she's just going to spritz the flower with some of that nectar for our little first little butterfly to eat. It's spreading its wings and now you can see the pretty colors. Whoa, it's coming. Now we're just peeking inside the top. It's not going to go anywhere. It's like a fly alone in the house. Yeah. So pretty. Look at that. Okay, it's the morning after that our first butterfly hatched and we had another one hatch overnight. See one. So. It's happening when we're not watching. Oh no. So yesterday we weren't home when the first one hatched and today, or this morning, one hatched overnight. At least it's got a friend to talk to, huh Charles? So I wanted to show you guys, I just sprinkled some of our nectar water, I guess, on this flower and he flew right down and sat on the paper towel. So I think he's gonna eat some of the nectar we gave him. Oh, wow. Good. Good job, he's eating. Oh, how pretty. He's flapping his wings, he's happy. Yeah, he is. He's eating on flower. Yeah. <laughs> okay guys, so we have all of our butterflies hatched and we're ready to release them. 
Look at them flying. They're happy. We're going to be released. Okay, Alex, do the honors. Oh, well, they're going well, That one's gone. See ya. Yeah, that's the one that's been going crazy for the last few days. He's ready to go. Oh, here go the rest oh. of them. Oh, there goes one. Are you watching, Chels? Here, let's not stand in front of Daddy. Look. How many is left? Three. Don't touch them. Yeah, you can touch them. You just have to be careful not to touch their wings. He's going crazy. Alex is trying to get him to land on her hand. They're like, we like it in here. We want to stay. Come on. <laughs> well, yeah, that watermelon down there? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that one's like it's munching away on the oh, watermelon. Oh, you can see it here. Ah, there was one. You can see this one eating the watermelon. Oh, oh there, there it goes. goes. Wow. Good job. That's crazy how they just take off that like one's that. just sitting in there. Okay, he's done having his lunch. And he's the last one. And he was just at the top ready to fly out. <laughs> Might need a little nudge. Maybe you could gently hold that one in your hand. He's like, what are you doing? <laughs> Come on. Put your fingers up underneath them. Try to see if you can get them to crawl on your hand. He's like, no. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there he goes. Last one.